Transfer Pumps By the end of this presentation, you will be able to identify the different types of transfer pumps and its capabilities. In the well testing setup, the transfer pump is situated to pump from tank to the oil manifold. Types of transfer pumps 1. Positive displacement pumps Positive displacement pumps employ a moving piston and either a plunger, diaphragm or rotor to move a fixed volume of liquid per revolution of the pump. It includes rotary or screw pump, diaphragm pump, and reciprocating pump. Positive displacement pumps are generally used for fluids with a relatively high viscosity. They can be used where high accuracy is required, example in metering. They can also be used where high pressure is required, example high pressure washing. 2. Centrifugal pumps The centrifugal pump contains a central rotating wheel, the impeller, that uses centrifugal force to impart high velocity to the liquid, and then converts most of this velocity to pressure. Centrifugal pumps operate at relatively high rotation speeds. It includes axial flow pump and radial flow pump. The main advantages of a positive displacement pump is that it can handle highly viscous fluids whereas a centrifugal pump would be inefficient and require high driver powers. Positive displacement pumps also have a good volumetric efficiency and driver power is kept to a minimum. The flow rate is easily adjustable via a speed control because the flow rate is directly proportional to its speed. Driver sizing is not as critical as with a centrifugal pump because the pump will deliver the known quantity of fluids regardless of system back pressure or losses. A positive displacement pump can produce a very low shear action in the case of sensitive fluids. The main disadvantages of a positive displacement pump versus a centrifugal pump is that dry running can be catastrophic due to either close clearances of parts, or in the case of progressive cavity pumps, the interference fit between the rotor and stator. All positive displacement pumps require the installation of a pressure relief valve to prevent failure of the pump or piping in case of accident or closure of the delivery valve or blockage in the piping. Main positive displacement pumps will produce pulsations which can lead to undesirable effects like vibration, product damage and water hammer. Positive displacement pumps have a limited flow rate range compared to centrifugal pumps. Screw Type Transfer Pump A screw pump is a rotary pump which is a form of a positive displacement and it delivers a known quantity of fluid for every revolution. The screw pump, as the name implies, the form of the screw is similar to a screw thread and hence, by rotating it, the fluid moves along the screw thread from the suction side to the discharge side of the pump. Due to very close clearances inside the pump, the volumetric efficiency is high especially with viscous fluids as this reduces the amount of slippage of the fluid from the high pressure to the low pressure side. The pump itself like any positive displacement pump does not produce pressure, it only moves fluid but it is the actual system which produces back pressure due to friction loss. Diaphragm Type Transfer Pump a diaphragm pump is a type of a positive displacement pump that uses a combination of the reciprocating action of a rubber or Teflon diaphragm and suitable non-return check valves to pump a liquid. Sometimes this type of pump is also called a membrane pump. A double diaphragm pump, or an air-operated diaphragm pump, uses compressed air as a power source. It operates by forcing the air out of one chamber and into the next, this action is simultaneous and results in pumping the liquid out of one chamber and into the discharge piping while the other chamber is filling with liquid. The main characteristics of a diaphragm pump are low to moderate capacity, low to moderate pressure, very low efficiencies, no seal and high pulsation. Gear type transfer pump. The gear type transfer pump is a rotary positive displacement pump. Gear pumps operate via two idler gears, where fluid travels between cavities within the teeth and cavity. The fluid is trapped by the teeth as they rotate. As a fluid chooses the path of least resistance fluid flows towards the discharge via the meshed parts. 
There are two variants in design being either external or internal. Centrifuge type transfer pump. A centrifugal pump is used to move fluids by using rotational energy created by a motor or engine. The fluid enters the pump's impeller across the rotating axis, where the spinning impeller pushes the fluid toward a scroll or diffuser. The fluids gain both velocity and pressure when being passed through the impeller. Centrifugal pumps are some of the most widely used pumps in industrial settings. And they have many benefits that make them popular options. These include the following. 1. Simplistic design. Because centrifugal pumps are simple in design, this can make them a more affordable option than other types of pumps. 2. Fewer moving parts. Simpler design means fewer moving parts to break and maintain over the life of your pump. 3. The various shapes and sizes. Centrifugal pumps come in a variety of sizes, meaning they are suitable for different applications and can work when you have small space constraints. Examples of transfer pumps in the market. Viking pump. Electrical or diesel engine. Positive displacement. Rotary type pump. Low viscosity oil. Non H2S. Mono pump. Electrical or diesel engine. Positive displacement. Rotary, screw type. All range of viscosities, particles. H2S proof. Sundyne pump. Electrical engine. Centrifuge impeller type. All range of oil, impurities. H2S proof. Gould's pump. Electrical engine. Centrifugal type. H2S proof. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel in order to help us produce more content like this one. Thank you for your attention and see you in a next video presentation.